Hello YouTube, if you've been paying any attention to the world of Carrie lately, you've probably come across the latest collaboration from Bellroy and Carryology, the Chimera. The Chimera is a premium, limited release, everyday pack. But there is another Chimera, the Chimera Wallet, and we're going to take a look at it today. My name is Roland from Rush Faster, and at Rush Faster we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. Now if that's your thing and you're into that and you want to see more of that, like this video, subscribe to the channel, we've got a whole lot of great carry content to come. So we've already had a look at the Chimera backpack in another video and I'll leave a link to that video below and maybe up around here. In that video I go through of course the pack and also how the collaboration between Carryology and Bellroy came out, how the, the, the designers worked with each other and how the Chimera was forged. So do check that video out if you haven't already because I won't go through all that stuff again. The Chimera wallet is a companion piece to the pack. Stylistically they go together very well but functionally there's no benefit in owning them both. You can have the pack and not the wallet or the wallet and not the pack or you can have both. Now Bellroy have always made very fine wallets and while we think of them now as a carry company with a broad offering, they actually started off selling wallets and that's that was their bread and butter for a long time and that's sort of how they built their business and their reputation. So if you've never owned a Bellroy wallet, I do recommend checking them out. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and they function really well and they last a really long time. Anyway, while the Chimera Day Pack seems to be based on Bellroy's Apex range of bags, which is a premium range of their bags, the Chimera Wallet is based on Bellroy's Slim Sleeve Premium Wallet and I have my suspicions as to why and I'll share them later on in this video. Anyway, let's dive in and take a closer look at Bellroy and Cariology's Chimera Wallet. So this wallet is made from the same Echo Leathers top hide leather and bonded ripstop that appears on the pack. And unsurprisingly, the leather on this wallet feels about the same as it does on the pack, and it should hold up to daily use without any problems. You can very clearly see the ripstop pattern throughout the leather, and I'm really excited to see how this will wear over time. I'm expecting some nice variation in the fades. I think the grids are going to make the patina very, very interesting. And there's a small monogrammed logo at the bottom with a pop of orange. And apart from that orange, it's quite subtle. And opening up the wallet, we'll see that the leather continues throughout the insides, except for the back panel here, which is um, which appears to be another piece of ripstop, like a separate piece that's sewn onto the back. Um, I'm assuming that's just to reinforce it and stop from wearing, because as you're sticking cards in and out of there, I guess they will scrape there. So that's probably just to protect the leather and maybe to provide a little bit more structure at a high friction point. And then on the inside of these pockets here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, there's some very small what appears to be writing, I think it's writing, and I'm sure it's a very mysterious and beautiful quote, and not just a product number, but there's something going on in there, but it's my eyes are just not good enough to see it, so I'm going to leave that up to everybody to uh, who owns it to sort of let me know, maybe in the comments, if you can see what the little piece of, um, oh, I think you can sort of see it there, but it's so small and it's just sort of monogrammed in there. It's a nice touch, where, whatever it is, and on the inside of these wallets here, you can actually feel the ripstop on the back that's been bonded to the leather, so that's quite interesting because that is not something that you can see on the Chimera Day Pack. There's another monogrammed logo on this side here, which says Cariology, and then on the right side it says Bellroy, and then there's this funky little orange pull tab, and if you pull that out, you can see the Chimera itself. Now this tab here is so that when there's a card inside, you can just pop them out. And I find that unless I'm putting cards back in, I do have a little bit of trouble sort of getting this strip of leather back in. But I love that pop of orange. I think it's a really nice contrast between the sort of charcoal black of the ripstop uh, leather and, and then it just, it really sort of stands out. So I like that contrast. The top and the bottom of the wallet have folded leather. But then the sides have all been stitched and reinforced and that looks like that's where they've brought up this to make the, the card pocket. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to now uh, put some of my personal cards in there so you can see how it looks when it is full. Okay, so now that wallet is full with my cards, I have five credit cards or credit like cards and then two rather thick business cards in there as well. And as you can see, it sort of, it sort of flaps up like that. And now unlike the Bellroy Apex wallet, which is a wallet from Bellroy's premium Apex line, this wallet doesn't have a magnetic closure. It just sort of flaps. This one, to open it, you have to pop it and there are magnets, there are magnets in the top here that keep it closed, which um, keeps it looking always very sort of minimal, very clean and closed. Now the reason that I think that they didn't do that on this and why they stuck to the Slim Sleeve Premium rather than the Bellroy Apex is because I, I wonder if the material didn't allow for the type of bonding that they've done on the Apex because on the Apex as you can see there's no stitching, I believe that this is heat sealed. 
so it's completely stitchless which is a really cool feature and then of course you get that magnetic snap. I wonder if the ripstop material didn't allow for that um, heat sealing process and they had to stick with the stitching which may have meant that they couldn't do the apex wallet and therefore didn't want to do the magnets or maybe they weren't able to do the magnets. I don't know but as you can see this is an older Bellroy wallet. I've had this for um, over a year. It gets around in my bag and my back pocket and it still looks really good so I'm expecting this one to hold up just the same. And that's it. It's a nice little wallet. I like the size, I like the materials, I like the fact that there's enough capacity for me to put the things that I need to put in there but then it's also small enough that I have no problems fitting it in any of my pockets. That's a real bonus. It's sophisticated, it looks good and I'm looking forward to it wearing. I'm, I want to put some wear into this and see how it patinas over time because I think it's going to look really really nice. If you like the Chimera wallet from Bellroy or anything else that you've seen in this video there are links in the description below. If you make a purchase using those links it goes a long way to supporting us and the work that we do here at Rush Faster so we do really appreciate that. If you want to see more from Rush Faster there'll be some videos at the end of the video or you can subscribe to our channel and check out what else we've got. But until the next one I've been Roland from Rush Faster and this was the Bellroy and Cariology Chimera wallet. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.